John, right now the NFL's leading receiver is? DK Metcalf. Debo Samuel. Started with a D. Good call. In Yak as well. So we started talking about this. Can this guy lead the league in receiving for a season? Can this guy be – is he already like a top five, top ten receiver? And is there anybody like him? I, that was the first question I asked. And I think the answer to the first question, is there anybody else like Debo Samuel, is no. And the reason I say that is because I can't think of anybody like Debo Samuel. There are people that do some of the things he does. They look – but is there anybody like this guy? I text a couple of scouts. We're glad you're watching this video. Like it and subscribe to our channel. Do you know that stats show 50% of you are not subscribed to our channel? Go subscribe. We're sponsored by Tito's Handmade Vodka. Number one vodka in America. And check out our podcast in the description below. Do it. Uh, one pro scout and one college scout. I said, do you have a comp for him? And both responses. Honestly, there aren't many. He's very unique. Best one I can think of is probably DJ Moore. Hmm from Carolina, the college scout said, you know, I haven't studied him since he got to the pros college. My comp was body type and just a little bit college play style was Ty Montgomery, which I actually think is much more like Debo, the body type. He kind of looks like a running back. He's really explosive. The, the difference is Ty could never figure it out in the pros. Debo actually became like, to me, he's thicker than DJ. But DJ's a true like outside receiver, where Debo is actually what Ty Montgomery was if Ty Montgomery ever became sweet in the pros, was supposed to be. Because he actually is a very skilled wide receiver, where I think Ty kind of struggled with. But in the open field, remember Ty in college was just dynamic, fast, could break tackles. It's kind of what Debo is. He's just, like you. when I see DK Metcalf, I go, God, he kind of looks like Terrell Owens. When I see Tyler Lockett, I'm like, God, it's, you know, he's little Deshaun Jackson -y or you know they're just you can do all these comps pretty easily with wide receivers I do think Debo is very very difficult to do like Ayuk to me is infinitely easier to do to find type guys that he plays like than Debo yeah. Samuel I think what's unique about Debo is he is he is first and foremost a receiver he's a receiver that can do running back things right and when I say running back things I don't mean you hand him the ball and let him run between the tackles but I, but you do get him the ball in in the same areas that you would get Alvin Kamara the ball, and then let him make plays after that point in time. Mm -hmm. And I think what's unique about him is that he could probably play with any type of quarterback, right? Like it would be a waste. I'm thinking just because we just talked about him, it'd be a waste of Henry Ruggs Andy Dalton. not to not play him with a big arm receiver. What's that? I was gonna say Andy Dalton. Yeah, it'd be a waste of it'd be a waste of most. I think one thing is Debo is actually kind of underutilized downfield. You and I talked about this a lot in the offseason, why we thought Trey Lance would be good for Debo is because Debo has that part of his game that you just don't get to utilize a lot. One thing that's happening right now, too, is that Ayuk is not contributing. And so Debo is like, he's there's no, sh there's no, the twins or there's no nickname. It's just Debo Samuel. Get him the ball. That's they got it. a little ahead of themselves with the Yak boys. Remember that? <laughs> well, I mean, uh, you know, part of that's Kittle, too, and Kittle has not been as big a part as the passing game. It's been Debo. 49er-minded on YouTube says a faster version of Anquan. Yeah, Anquan is actually the guy that I've thought of, too, when I look at him physically. Percy just in Harvin terms of muscles. Percy Harvin with muscles. That's also a good one. I would imagine Percy, like, in his prime shirt off would look like he had some muscles, don't you think? Yeah, I think, yeah. <laughs> I mean, but Percy it, was, Percy, it was more about, like, here's nine different ways to get the ball to Percy, right? Well, because I think Percy was viewed... He like, wasn't as good as a receiver. Yeah, I mean, he was a better version of what all the NFC West teams did with their guys, right? Moore, Tutu, and Eskridge. They just like, is he the fastest guy in the league? What Deshaun was for a while. But Deshaun was a great receiver. That's always goes back to Deshaun when you get a true speed guy. It's like, well, yeah, he could play receiver. Debo, it's like, well, what is he? Well, I don't know. He can get open. He's a fantastic route runner. Did you see the play last night when Devontae, they hit the deep bomb, the Devontae Adams? Yeah. When you are a great route runner, Devontae was viewed coming out as not fast enough. Like, that was the knock on Devontae. And I think what Devontae, if you just had a, uh, a round table, Devontae, Keenan Allen, Anquan Bolden, Raiders Crabtree, you know, just the guys that have had just really, really good seasons that people go, yeah, he's not fast enough. They go, I don't, I put a 4-3 corner against me. I will, how many, how many wide receivers or how many corners does Keenan Allen line up against that he's faster than him? I'll tell you. 
There's not there's not been one since he's been in the NFL. He's lined up a guy over him. Sure. Okay. Uh, yeah, Sherman, by, the, by his older by age. Yeah, 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 by the end. So the, the, but and Sherman was a dying breed of player, right? In his last couple of years in the league, even with the Niners, most guys, and now Josh Norman, but the majority of players at cornerback, you you see when the combines going, when the corners start running, like the wide receivers, it's all. Four three eight, four four two, four four one. It's like four five two. It's like, oh, he's dropping to the fifth, you know. But wide receivers, historically, a ton of guys, you know. And it, I just, if you just ask the casual Niner fan, they would not say Debo is a speed demon. Yet when I watch him the last two weeks, he's caught balls and separated from people. Play speed matters, and getting open matters. It just does. I, C- I think CD CD Lamb the other day in the Cowboys game. When they almost ran that option at the end of the half, you see him just cut and just like, Jesus, look at this well, guy's play speed. CD's kind of the guy that I think if you were trying to find current, like I thought Chase Claypool, now he doesn't fit the physical comparison. Isn't Chase, Chase Claypool bigger. like 6'4"? He's much bigger. Yeah, he's taller. But again, it's hard. You like you got to make some concessions if you're looking for a comp because there aren't a lot of guys. And I think this, like part of it is Kyle, right? Where if you can get Debo, if part of the reason I think he looks fast, he's, he's not always running with somebody who just is running stride for stride with him. That's the beauty of being on offense. You know where the play is going. The defensive player does not. So you have an advantage and if fairness, you're running I, at full speed. I, I do think I've probably underselled or undersold Debo a little bit. He fell in the draft, not because people didn't think he was a baller. His injuries, right? Unlike like Claypool, for example, fell to the second round because people thought he was slow. Quick moment to tell you to get in our DraftKings game. It's linked below. Play any game, really. Use the code HAM when you sign up at DraftKings. Do you want to gamble? I know I do. And where I do it, mybookie.ag, promo code HAM1. Debo, people thought the guy could play. Remember, I remember when he first got here, you and I did a deep dive on him and like a podcast segment, and his injury history was pretty riddled. Remember, yes. he missed a ton of games. So I think that was the reason. And again, fell. He was a high second-round pick. He, I, I think he was viewed as a really good player. If he had... Three straight years, sophomore, junior, senior, whatever, at South Carolina, where he was playing 11 games, I think he probably goes in the, in the 20s. Wayne Corbett comp. Cross-racial. Cross-racial, baby. That's what you're always looking for. That's the cream, the creme de la creme of the, of the comps is the cross-racial comp, yeah. I believe. If you believe, we, we, both, we both agree. Um, I got a comp, I got yeah. a comp from, uh, on Travis Kelsey from an NFL coach the other day. So what do you think of Travis Kelsey? He's like, he's Larry Bird. I'm like, Larry Bird? He's like, yeah, he's a dude that shows up in kind of the rougher neighborhood at a park with just some ballers, and they all go, this guy's going to fucking play with us? And three games later, he has scored on literally everyone, and everyone wants him on their team, and he's kicking the shit out of everyone. Interesting cop. The thing is, Kelsey is a physically... But I, mean, I just mean, big, like, you, you go... The touchdown he scored on Sunday night, you just go, this guy is not going to be the best player on the field. He's the best player on the field beside Mahomes most nights. Yeah. Yeah. But Larry I would say the big. difference Larry is like, was big. Larry was 6'8". Or yeah, whatever, Larry right? was big, but Larry was not, you know. Not perfect comp, but it did rim. have like some. I, yeah, no. You wouldn't go, hey, this is this might be the best tight end in NFL history. <laughs> right. 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 Um, so... You know <laughs> Tito Samuel. I like that. Um, so the question is, can he can he lead the league in receiving? Um, but doesn't it go back to what I said about like him coming out? I mean, he's yes, him playing seventeen Completely. games would be. I mean, Kyle Shanahan would do cartwheels up and down his office right now if you said, "Hey, what would you do for Debo Samuel to play seventeen games?" He's made enormous plays in back to back games. Well, one thing you worry about is like if he's not available, does does Ayuk just like okay now Ayuk's going to get 11, 11 balls? Why well, I, I told you this before the uh, before we got on here, I watched Arizona uh, on Game Pass a couple days ago, and the one thing that stood out you thought NAU like, NAU looked good. Well, no, oh, no, the not, Car- Arizona Cardinals. Arizona Cardinals. I, I didn't I didn't check out Jed Squad. No, you know Jed, a little quieter on social media. But that's usually happens after you lose three straight games. That we go, God, Trent Sherfield. What what are the Cardinals? You see Larry Fitzgerald? What what is going on here? Their wide receivers are elite. I mean, they got Hopkins. AJ Green, in fairness, looks pretty good right now. Rondale Moore, the kid they drafted from Purdue, 
I'm pretty sure was like a four two flat guy. He looks amazing, and Christian Kirk is pretty freaking good. So I just maybe they were just like, listen, we like the guy, but I mean our receivers are stacked. What do you want yeah. us to do? Yeah, right. It's, so I I, I think good, that's more of I I will give them credit. Like it was just you don't have an unlimited amount of space for everyone. You lose guys. Well, the Niners yeah. with Kendrick. Good teams. Do, would the Niners have wanted to keep Kendrick Bourne? Just if all things were equal, for sure. Yeah. Right? Yep. Nick Ballore, I saw him make a special teams tackle for the Seahawks this weekend. Um, he is, Niners like, and Seahawks have liked a lot of the same players over the years, man. The DJ Reed bullshit celebration penalty, taunting penalty. Um, what did he do, wave at someone? Well, he broke up like he was step for step with Julio down the sideline and kind of looked right at Julio, and I don't remember exactly what he did. It's See the Julio really touchdown stupid. that they overcalled? I thought he was in. I did, too. The rule doesn't make any sense. James Lofton actually said it during the broadcast. If you're running towards the sideline and you catch the ball and you drag your toes and all you do is drag your toes, you're inbounds. But if you catch it with your back to the out of bounds area, your toes come down first and then your heels hit out of bounds, you're out of bounds. But if you drag your toes, you're saying, why don't you get credit for the toe hitting? Yeah. The toe hits, you have possession plays over touchdown. Is that the uh, clearly it's the rule? Yeah, I'm just saying if you if you drag if you drag your toe from inbounds to out of bounds, not that's a touchdown. If you touch down with your toe and then your heel hits out of bounds, not a touchdown. That is an incredible point by James Lofton, is it not? I get that's just uh, you, no one thinks about that. That is very thoughtful. Obviously, he's a Hall of Fame wide receiver, so he thinks like that's genius. Right. He hates to see a receiver lose a uh, lose lose. Anyway, so. If he's if he continues this pace, seven and a half catches, he's not leading the league in receptions right now. He's leading in yards, but if he stays on this pace of like seven and a half, that's that's 127 catches. That's what Stephon Diggs led the league with last year was 127 catches. It'd be a lot. But when you look at the guys that lead the league in catches, it's not the fastest guys by and large. No, it it's usually Devontae, like Keenan and Allen, Hopkins, and yeah. Waller. I mean Waller's. I mean Waller and Kelsey. Those guys are freaks. So they're matchups. Allen Robinson, okay. Keenan, Juju was ninth. Was so, going to be guys getting open a lot within 15 yards. Like a lot of, you know, it's going to sound bad because Devontae and Keenan aren't this, but they do play a role, possession receivers, right? When I say possession receivers, I just mean when I think Keenan Allen, De- DeAndre Hopkins, and Devontae, I think th- I put them in the similar category, right? Not the fastest guys incredible contested catches can run slants over the middles can go high point balls like you know on the sidelines they, they just all kind of play the same way and i would say debo has more parallels to them than he does like the speed guys yeah 